Hi everyone and welcome to our unit 5 on human resources. This is lesson 5.4. We're talking about recruitment metrics in this lesson. So let's get started. So our objectives for this lesson are to identify key differences in recruitment strategies and outcomes and interpret how those differences in recruitment strategies may impact the effectiveness of a company's recruitment process. So recruitment metrics. Now, recruitment strategy metrics are key indicators used by HR professionals to evaluate the effectiveness and the efficiency of their hiring processes. And these metrics help in understanding how well the recruitment strategies are performing and where improvements can be made. So we're going to look at several of these different metrics. Starting with time to hire. This measures the time taken from when the job requisition is opened until the offer is accepted by the candidate. And a shorter time to hire can indicate a more efficient recruitment process, but it should not compromise the quality of the hires. Next is cost per hire. This calculates the total cost associated with the recruitment process divided by the number of hires in a specific period. Costs may include advertising fees, recruiter salaries, agency fees, and other related expenses. And lowering the cost per hire while maintaining quality of hires is generally desirable. Now, speaking of quality of hires, this measures how well new hires perform in their roles, their engagement levels, their retention rates, and their impact on business performance. And quality of hire can be assessed through performance appraisals, turnover rates, and manager satisfaction with the new employees. Source of hire. This tracks which recruitment channels, job boards, social media, employer referrals, etc., are providing the most successful candidates. And understanding the most effective sources can help allocate resources more efficiently and improve rec recruitment strategies. Applicant satisfaction. This measures the satisfaction of the candidates with, with the recruitment process, including communication, transparency, and overall candidate experience. Now, a high satisfaction rate can improve the company's reputation among potential candidates. Applicant drop-off rate. This looks at the number of candidates who start but do not complete the application process. A high drop-off rate might indicate that the application process is too long, it's too complicated, or it's simply not user-friendly. Offer acceptance rate. This is the percentage of candidates who accept a job offer. Now, a low acceptance rate could indicate issues with the offer package, the company's reputation, or the recruitment process itself. Diversity of hire. This measures the diversity, for example, the gender, the race, the age of new hires to ensure a diverse and inclusive workplace. And this metric can help assess the effectiveness of diversity recruitment initiatives. Recruitment funnel effectiveness. This analyzes the conversion rate at each stage of the recruitment process from application to hire. This can help identify stages where candidates drop out or they get rejected frequently. Okay, so that is our lesson 5.4 on recruitment metrics. The objective in this lesson was to identify key differences in recruitment strategies and outcomes and to interpret how differences in recruitment strategies may affect the effectiveness of a company's recruitment process.